hey, hey, what up, Internet? What are you doing? Well, recently I was asked, how quickly do you think you could build one of those CO2 reactors? Challenge accepted. First off, we're going to run through all the parts. If you're like me and you uh, have lots of extra plumbing parts hanging around, which we don't need any of this, well, we need that. You could probably make this out of stuff that uh, is just left over from plumbing and stuff. So um, we'll run through the parts here real quick. We got two uh, T's here, two inch by one and a half inch T's, right? Those are ABS. Then we got one two inch plug that's just schedule 40. Another one, so two of those two of those, right? Then we got a one and a half inch plug that's threaded to half inch. So one and a half inch on this end, half inch on that end. Then we got the um, little uh, plug here that the CO2 line will plug directly into and that's a half inch threaded on the back and three eighths inch on the insert end. Then we got a one and a half inch plug again, but this time the three quarter inch slit. We got two pieces of three quarter inch schedule 40 and a three quarter inch ball valve that I found over there. Now here's the key part. This was actually sent to me by one of uh, the subscribers. This is a clear uh, it's a clear acrylic pipe that actually is two inch diameter that can be um, you know glued directly into ABS line. Now this is super expensive and not necessary for this. It just looks really cool when you can see the water going through it. Uh, special thanks to Eddie for sending me his extra chunks. Now the last but not least, we got a bucket of old plastic media. This is going to go inside. And we don't need this. That thing was just extra, don't worry about that. But let's see how quickly we can put this thing together real time. Uh, this is just ABS to PVC glue. Uh, it comes with a little dauber and it's bright green, which is uh, awesome. Uh, when you're putting this together, always remember to glue both sides. Although this will never really have a lot of pressure in it, it's just what you want to do. Now, you'll notice that the T's have a direction that they want to go in, where the flow goes. They're actually going to offset them to each other. So one's the in, and one's the out. Pretty simple, right? And so far, we've got the top and the bottom. Now, water's gonna go in, water's gonna come out. So down here at the bottom, we make sure we gotta put this together correctly, because if I'm going real fast, I might lose track of what I'm doing, but, we're gonna glue both ends. This is the one and a half to three quarter slip down here at the bottom, which go all the way in. Don't worry, it'll stick out a little bit. Now the next piece that we add on the inside here, a little bit of glue, glue action, and then some glue action here to this three quarter inch piece. Don't worry about getting this glue on you. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it does come off pretty easily if you have a towel right here. <laughs> this next piece right here is actually going to get the ball valve on it, right? Cool. The next part here is going to go this. Oops. 
forgot to glue the whole thing. <laughs> Try to go fast, this is what happens. You'll forget. Always remember to glue both sides. There we go. Now to put the base on. I need three hands for this. <laughs> All right. We got this part. That's going to be the bottom. It's going to stand like that. Obviously, it's going to, right now, it's going to tip over because there's nothing propping it up. Let's use that. We we'll use that little bit right there. Now I kind of messed up there on the inventory of parts. We don't need the cap. We need one of the caps like this. That's a two inch to three quarter with the threading on the inside. And that'll make sense here in a minute because this is where the water will go in to the reactor itself via a pump. Almost forgot to put the important part inside. All these little doodads go in here. This, these balls here. These old bio balls are just to agitate the water as it flows through. I'm go ahead and add a couple more. Yeah. There we go. Now this little part right here, actually going to get this. A little bit of Teflon tape, just so it doesn't leak a bunch of water out. Uh, somebody recently asked me, which way does the tape go on here? There really is only one way that the tape goes on here, and that's the right way. There's a right way and a wrong way. You'll have to figure that out. That's the wrong way. If you're like me, you always got a pair of pliers in your pocket and can just tighten this down. Oh yeah, tighten it down. There we go. some pretty basic vinyl tube from a utility pump. Just walk down.
and there we go. We got ourselves CO2 reactor. Water goes in here, flushes through. You can set how much water you want or don't want coming out. CO2 tubing goes right in here. And this thing, I'll have to uh, affix it a little bit because it'll fall over, but just a quick little zip tie right here to keep it in place in the sump. And all my CO2 will be going right into the aquarium. This is actually Victoria's CO2 reactor, so uh, I hope she likes it. Happy Valentine's Day? Later?